Erica, we've got a visitor. Can you make some tea? Why me? I'm kind of busy right now. Isn't there someone else available? You're the only woman here, Erica, so please... That's harassment, you know. You never treat me like a lady unless it suits you. You're not seen as a woman because you're not sweet enough. That's why you don't have a boyfriend. I, Erika Asakawa, 25, am the only female researcher in this lab. Swallowing what I really wanted to say, I reluctantly agree to serve tea to the visitor. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry to trouble you with tea, especially since you're busy. But I come here often, so you really don't have to bother. You heard our conversation earlier, didn't you? These days, it shouldn't matter if you're a man or a woman. I serve tea to visitors too. Especially someone as capable as you, Erica. It's unfair to bother you with such things during your research. Don't worry about me. Why is it that men can be so different in their thinking? I see this man as someone kind and understanding. Thanks for your concern. It's just common sense, really. I'm Tomoya Takano, 25, a salesperson at a certain company. Today, I visited a research lab of one of our clients. On my way back from the lab. Wow, the sunset is so beautiful. Is that Tomoya? Tomoya, what are you doing here? Hey, Erica, good evening. Just got caught up watching the beautiful sunset. The rich colors in the sky are due to the high moisture in the air. Huh? In the morning and evening, the sun is at a low angle, so the longer red light wavelengths don't scatter much and reach the Earth. When there's more water vapor in the air, it scatters and becomes more visible to us. Erica, you're amazing being able to explain things like that. I don't have such detailed knowledge, but look at this. Setting aside the complex stuff, you think the sunset is beautiful too, right? Yes, it's just a sunset, but it moves me. It feels like it takes away the day's fatigue. You look at peace, Erika. You've been tired lately, haven't you? Tomoya, you're an interesting person. Really? That's nice to hear from you, Erika. I'm not complimenting you. Oh, okay. But being with Tomoya somehow feels comforting. Why is that? What is this feeling? Even though we think about things so differently, I'm somehow drawn to Erika. That night, my dad called me. The next arranged meeting is two weeks from now on Sunday. The guy is perfect, but what's always the issue with you? Make sure you decide this time, got it? I've told you before, I'm not planning to get married yet, okay? Two weeks from now, Sunday, 2 p.m. at the room hotel lobby. I'll send you his picture and info later. Bye. Don't just decide things on your own. My dad never considers my feelings. It's suffocating. The next morning, I was rushing for a meeting at the lab, but couldn't ignore an elderly lady wandering around lost. Is something wrong? I'm lost. Let me make a quick call, then I'll guide you. Just wait a moment, please. Isn't that Tomoya? Wasn't he supposed to have a meeting at the lab this morning? After escorting the lady to her destination, I ended up being late for the meeting. I'm sorry for being late. You're causing us trouble by being late. I really apologize. Well, you did call ahead of time, so it's somewhat okay. Why doesn't Tomoya just say he was helping someone? Wouldn't people think poorly of him for being late? Hey! What is it, Erika? Tomoya, why don't you tell them you were late because you were helping an old lady? Won't this affect how they see you? You saw that, huh? Well, it's just the right thing to do. Didn't think it was worth mentioning. But... Really, Tomoya? That's just like you. Let's start the meeting. Tomoya doesn't act out of self-interest or gain. He's kind and caring. He can do things I can't. Lately, I can't stop thinking about him. 
Could it be that I like Tomoya? Is this what falling in love feels like? I've never been in love with a man before, so I'm not sure. But I want to know more about him. If this is love, what should I do with these feelings? Then, an idea struck me. The meeting ended in the morning, and as I was walking through the lab's hallway, Erica stopped me. Um, I have something I want to talk to you about. Sure, what's up? It's kind of hard to talk about here. Can we find some time to talk? We met up in the park where we watched the sunset before. Honestly, it's still cold at night in spring, so I wondered why she chose this place. Tomoya, can you pretend to be my boyfriend? And not just any boyfriend, but one with the intention to marry. What? My dad keeps forcing me into arranged marriages, and I'm so tired of it. So, could you pretend to be my boyfriend to avoid this? Why are you asking me? I don't really know any men outside of work. And there's no one else I can ask at my current job, you know? I thought you were the most suitable. So, you mean, you didn't actively choose me? You just settled on me by process of elimination? No, that's not it. It sure sounds like it. It's not like that. I just can't explain it well. If it takes up your valuable time, I'll pay you. What? I don't want this to be about money. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm saying the opposite of what I actually think. That's not right. Let me just organize my thoughts. Um, so... Um... The reason I asked Omaya to pretend to be my boyfriend is because I actually want him to be my boyfriend. But if I confessed outright and got rejected, it would hurt too much, so I chose the safer route of asking him to pretend. Right? But now, why did I have to make him angry? <laughs> What's with the puppy? While waiting for you to gather your thoughts, this little guy popped out of the bushes. Seems hungry. What should we do? I'm not sure. What should we do? I can't have pets in my apartment. Maybe you could hold him for a bit? No? Oh? No! I'm good. Come on, just give it a try. Here! Cute. Right? Seems like you like him, too. This guy must be a male, liking a beauty like you. Is he a male? I'm not sure. Just a feeling. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> you left! That's a first. He's so innocent, makes my heart warm. Being with someone like him, I could always feel this way. He shows me emotions I've never known. With him? About what I was saying earlier. Right, we were in the middle of something. I didn't express myself well before. Sorry. I think you'd play the pretend boyfriend role really well. Your personality is great. My dad would definitely like you. I'll do my best to be the perfect pretend girlfriend. Could we cooperate on this? If you agree to pretend, I'll take care of the puppy. Really? Is that okay? Yes. But I feel bad about deceiving your dad. Are you sure it's okay? It's fine. My father always recommends men who are good on paper. But no matter how good their credentials are, I don't want to marry someone I don't love. You're really struggling with this, huh? If I'm okay with it, I'll be your pretend boyfriend. Thank you. It's cold in this park, and the puppy seems hungry. We should probably get him home soon. You're right. But I've never had a puppy before, so I'm a bit nervous. Could you come to my place now? We can also discuss our pretend relationship. Are you sure I can come over? Yes. 
Why did you choose the park as our meeting place? Sorry, it was cold, wasn't it? I've never been out to eat alone with a man, so I was worried we'd run out of things to talk about. I thought we wouldn't stay long because it's cold in the park. I see. By the way, how do we act like a couple? I've never been in a relationship with a man, so I don't know how. Well, for starters, like, maybe we could call each other sweet names like Honey, Babe, Sweetheart, Love, or Darling? So... Can you try calling me... Honey? Yes, Honey. Wow! This is embarrassing! Being in a relationship is hard, huh? It's not just calling each other sweet names, but also doing this and that step by step. Oh my, just thinking about it feels impossible for me. All we need is for your dad to think we're close. At the very least, if we can look into each other's eyes and talk with a smile, that should be enough. Ah, I just said something really embarrassing, didn't I? Well, if you've never been in a relationship with a man, it might be unavoidable. But we have to push through the embarrassment and act. What do you think? Should we stop? Oh no! That's impossible too! How about we start by sharing a little about each other to act more like a couple? Well, my hobby is research, and I guess my special skill is typing. Really? Isn't there anything else? Nope, I just go back and forth between the lab and home every day. That's so like you, Erica, but it feels like a waste. Let's enjoy more of life. Trying new things might help you find new hobbies or skills. If it's with you, Tomoya, I'm okay with it. Hey! Well, you're supposed to be my boyfriend, right? Teach me a few things. For someone who's never had a boyfriend, you sure know how to make a move. Are you sure you've never had one? I've really never had a boyfriend. I'm just trying too hard to act the part. Ah, I'm embarrassed. I studied data on how women's actions affect men's psychology. You're such a studious person. But Erica, you were really cute. Ah. Uh. Thank you. Tomorrow after work, I'll buy some things for the puppy. Will you be home? Yes, I will be. So, see you tomorrow. Good night. And thank you for agreeing to be my pretend boyfriend. Let's get through the day smoothly. Yes, but I really want to be Tomoya's girlfriend. Being with the person I like is so... Thrilling! It makes my heart race, but I want to spend more time with him. Finally, the day came for me to meet Erica's dad as her pretend boyfriend. Honestly, it was complicated because I'm attracted to Erica, but I couldn't just leave her in trouble. This place? Wow, it's impressive. But what's your dad like? My father is a director of the pharmaceutical company that owns our research lab. I come from an ordinary background, so even as a pretend boyfriend, I doubt he'd accept me. Is there even a point to my greeting him? There is. It's to show my father that I'm standing up for what I believe in. Got it. I'll do my best to play the part well. Thank you. But Erica's father... What's this, Erica? You really brought your boyfriend? Yes. Tomoya has something I lack. With him by my side, I can do better. If I can marry him, I'll take over the company. There's no need for an arranged marriage. If you won't accept our marriage, then I won't take over the company either. If you have found someone like that, I won't object. The best thing is for you to marry the man you love. Marry Tomoya. What? what? Why are you surprised? I was worried because you seemed to have no interest in men, so I forced you into these meetings. I hoped you'd bring someone on your own if you hated arranged ones. Marriage should be about love. I'm happy you have found someone you care about. So, when is the wedding? Hold on a second! Dad! Thank you for understanding me! 
We'll discuss the wedding date and get back to you. Tomoya, thank you for today. You were a huge help. Your dad was very understanding. It was unexpected. Yes, and I was surprised too. He's been thinking about me in his own way. But what now? If we don't set a date for the wedding, he'll find out about the pretend boyfriend thing and might push for real meetings again, right? How about we actually get married? What? To be honest, I had mixed feelings when you asked me to be your pretend boyfriend. Because I've been attracted to you for a long time. Really? I can't quite explain why I'm drawn to you. Maybe you could analyze it with your science logic? Being a science woman doesn't mean I can explain everything logically. I asked you to pretend because I really wanted you to be my boyfriend. What? I can't logically explain why I feel this way. I was afraid of being rejected if I confessed directly, so asking you to pretend was my way of avoiding risk. The more time I spent with you, the stronger my feelings grew. Just like I told my father. You have qualities I lack, and I can do better with you by my side. That's why I said I wanted to marry you, and I meant it. So that means... I've been so focused on my research, but you, Tomoya, showed me how to enjoy simple things like watching sunsets and caring for a puppy. I've come to realize I want to be with you forever. So, can we date with marriage in mind? According to statistics, dating you would make my life more enjoyable. And... What did the statistics say happens next? We confess our love for each other and then... kiss... and hug! <laughs> Got it! Erica, let's date with the intention to marry! I love you too! Um... I... love you too! And then? What comes next? Tell me, Erica! Seeing Erica, the logical science woman, struggling to explain her feelings logically was surprisingly pleasant. That's what I thought. <laughs>